Hey everybody, how you guys doing? My name is Crazy Jester and welcome back to another episode of War on the Sea. And my goodness, it has been a minute since we have been on this campaign, but I am excited to be back. When we last left off, as I can tell so far, we have, it looks like a C3 and a porter heading over to Cooktown, no doubt, to pick up some supplies from Cooktown. The, more than likely, it's going to be the supplies that we're going to pick up first to take over because we also have a second group, Task Force 10 here with 2,000 supplies and 1,250 troops plus 250 troops on the Helm Destroyer here heading for Port Moresby which only currently has 987 troops and 1,750 supplies so getting troops, maybe we will get troops from Cooktown now that I think about it we do have the Green Lean watching over Port Moresby to make sure there's no invasion force coming in and while we are at it, what is it, 1716? we can still get air up, correct? Yes, we can. Perfect. We'll probably just do a courtesy flyover just to make sure there's nothing here. Let's go ahead and get that going. And then we also have, it looks like, the Task Force 10, which was in the last battle from the last episode, that uh, a couple of them, the Pensacola and the Bagley, took some heavy damage. Going to go back, retire them out until they can get repaired and come back in. And then Task Force 1, which is our up-to-date crew that still have a little bit of fight in them, they're going to go head up right back over to Guadalcanal and just kind of watch the area, make sure there's no invasion force coming. This episode, what would I would like to do? Hmm. I wouldn't mind focusing down Guadalcanal a little bit if possible, but maybe taking over the Vela La Vela and Kulam Bangara for these two islands just to get more points on our side. We do have 194 points down on the bottom left there. So, using those command points, that's actually going to be vital. But really quick, let's go ahead and manage some cargo here and get some fuel on board this if we can. We got some supplies and the Cimarron. We're going to go ahead and get the... Oh, there we go. Get some fuel on board and let's go ahead and get them started back up here and start dropping off more supplies if possible. We also want to manage the cargo on all of this. Get as many supplies again as possible. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. All right, we are bringing out the big guns. Here is the new task force. Task force line, we've got two destroyers, three or one light cruiser and two heavy cruisers, along with our first aircraft carrier, the Mighty Wasp. Holy shit, this is going to be amazing. Let's go ahead and get them up to a reasonable area to start fighting. I think we'll keep them around Rennell Island because then the planes can reach over here to the Florida Islands, Russell Islands, and Malaita uh, just fine. I'm actually pretty excited about that. Let's go ahead and do some time compression here and see if we can't come up against a fighting force here soon. Something's got to happen. We'll be right back as soon as we find something exciting. All right, so really quick, we do have some exciting news. It looks like our Kingfisher scout plane has discovered a, a new group, and they probably are heading this way. We'll keep an eye on them. Let's actually go ahead while we're at it and change course just to keep an eye on them. Eight ships strong. We're not going to go into tactical view just to check it out because there's no point. And then we'd have to search for it again. We'll just keep eyes on it. But it looks like Task Force 10 has arrived back at base. Let's go ahead and release for repair on these two. Confirm. How about it, gentlemen? All right, our Cooktown Task Force has arrived over here. Super important. Let's go ahead and manage cargo for both of these. The Porter will give you some... We'll give you troops, definitely, and the C3, go ahead and manage cargo for you as well, and we'll also get troops. Two very important things, we need both of those, and now Cooktown is looking at uh, zero troops and a thousand supplies, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and change their course over and get them up to Port Moresby ASAP and start buffering that. We need to start thinking of a counterattack on Milne Bay, as it is an objective that we need to capture. And I'd rather try and do it sooner rather than later before they start beefing up all their supplies. We still have troops that are in the fight over there. Let's go ahead and increase time here. We have uh, Task Force 9 in the area. Let's also start doing a courtesy check with Task Force 1 here and see if there's any more of that uh, enemy Task Force in the area. Oh, yes, and there they are. Coming back down once again, let's go ahead and get a new force out this way, and it's time to start following. 
we very well might just have our very first aircraft carrier battle here soon, ladies and gentlemen, and I am excited, let me tell you. And here we are, we are close enough that it is time. Let's go ahead and get our Dauntlesses and go into tactical view. And let's start this epicness. All right, here we are. Let's go ahead and see what we're actually dealing with, if we can. It looks like a super light task force overall. And you know exactly what we're going to be going for. Then we're going to be going for these heavy cruisers. I think that's going to be the best course of action for us. Let's go ahead and change course for everyone. We're getting in the area that we need to. Let's go ahead and start dropping down if we can to altitude. That's gonna help us the most. Right around 780, that works for me. They're getting ready for the actual attack. We have the first set of Dauntlesses that are in the area that we need to. We'll have four go for number two, and then we'll have four go for number one, and then we'll kind of Lay out how it goes with those strikes, and then we'll send uh, numbers five, six, seven, and eight at the target that we deem necessary. And there we go. It looks like the first group might have dropped their load already. And it looks like they missed everything. Damn it. Second group coming in. Come on, Donald. Let's get out of there. Get out of there. We might just have to focus down one, which is totally okay. And these guys are playing it smart. They're actually turning into them. Second group, you know, I figured I'd try that skip bombing. I know Dauntlesses are dive bombers. I know, I know. You guys are probably all sitting there, sitting there going, what the hell is Jester doing? I just wanted to try the skip bombing. I've seen a few YouTube videos of uh, people doing some skip bombing, and it looked pretty awesome. But my attempt was uh, utter failure. So now we're going to go do what the Dauntless does best, which is dive bombing. And uh, let's get into this. Perfect. Got a few hits on there. We can't complain. Got a few hits. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of a damage port going here. So moderate and moderate for the number one and moderate minor for the number two. I'll take that. That's not too bad, right? Get these guys out of here. We lost two Dauntlesses, which isn't the worst thing in the world. But at least we scrambled these units around and it looks like they even got so confused that they ran into each other. That's where the damage for that light cruiser came in. Beautiful. Let's go a little uh, time compression here. Overall, not bad. Not going to be doing skip bombing with the Dauntlesses anymore, though. I will tell you that right now. Can we get a courtesy check for the area? Mr. Kingfisher, go ahead and start looking around. We'll get Task Force 1 sending out another scout plane in the area. And the Gato is already on a course. Let's go see if we can't find them again and we'll send out a second task force or second group of planes to engage. And in other good news, Cargoes 1 and 2 have arrived back at Rennell Island. So let's go ahead and start managing this group and get these supplies offloaded to their rightful place. There we go. Engineering 274. And what else have we got? So we've got more than enough supplies now, more than enough troops here. Not worried about an invasion force or anything coming here and uh, giving us a hard time. Get them right back to New Hebrides. We also have, again, Cargo 2. Manage Cargo, please. Offload, so 9,600 supplies total with 261 fuel. What do we need? Overall, we have a Tier 3 port. I don't see the purpose of doing a Tier 4 right now. We could get an, a, a new airfield and start upgrading that, but I don't think we need to do it at Rennell Island just yet, as there's no real purpose. I think we need to save that. For when we actually get, I think what we'll do is we'll save all our supplies for Guadalcanal. We'll focus on taking that over, 
And then that'll be when we uh, dump all the supplies from Rennell Island over there and we can start making like an airfield and everything. I guess that makes the most sense. Oh, and here we go. Task Force 1 has encountered something. What time is it? 10 a.m.? So it's gotta be... Gotta be a... Uh, not a destroyer, a submarine. Alright, gentlemen. On your feet, on your feet. Where are they, where are they? Start turning, start turning. Do we not have any destroyers in this group? We don't, do we? Oh, that's interesting. Due to the fact that I'm not seeing any... torpedoes yet, though, it's making me wonder if there is anything at all here. Or if we come across a, uh... Well, that was a false alarm if I've ever seen one. Huh. That was interesting. Now it's got me wondering. Go ahead and get some, uh... Planes out and about now to start scouring the area. Task Force 1 again encountered. What is it that's encountering it? Oh, hello. Where did this come from? Bloody hell. Alright, everybody. Go ahead and let's target a new target if we can, please. And give the attack order. We are on the attack. Holy... Yet. This was sudden. Does anybody have torpedoes? I don't think we have that. That is a Japanese cruiser thing. Which I miss about the uh, Japanese cruisers. Oh, yes, and we uh, actually got some pretty damn good hits on this guy. Even though it doesn't say we did. Nice. Start focusing down, gentlemen. He's everybody going after. Going after number two. And it looks like they're also auto-switching to some of these other boats. They like going after the destroyers, I've noticed. I don't know why. They really enjoy those destroyers. My goodness, are they torpedoing their own guys? Yes! Oh, you buffoons, I was getting worried. It kept saying number three struck by torpedo. I thought that was us it was talking about. Boise, easy, easy. All right, let's go ahead and get a damage report for our guys. It looks like heavy minor. All right, let's start making a different route here. The Boise definitely needs to... Uh... Let's go ahead and divert you, sir. You can go a whole separate way. Let's start getting you under control here. I want that fire under control. If possible. Well, also, no, we need to keep your speed constant, unfortunately. Salt Lake City, who are you going after? Number one, at least we're going after something of these uh, heavy destroyers. There we go, that's one of theirs down. Thank you to the Japanese for that. Really helped us out there. Babuki is being targeted now. We actually need to change course completely. Because they've sent torpedoes. They've struck their own guys, so no doubt those other torpedoes are heading our way. Alright, come on guys. Let's start getting some pretty good hits here. Our Boise is not doing good at all. They are focusing him down completely critical and heavy. We very well might lose our Boise. What in the hell was that? We, we even sent the spy planes out and it didn't show or see any of this. So I'm confused as to what the hell's going on here. Kind of a shame. Come on, Boise. You tough son of a bitch. Stay in there for me. If we can get the heavy hitters out of the way will be just fine. It looks like all three of them are focusing down the Miyoko. Are we doing narrow fire as well? That is pretty damned important right now. We have narrow firing orders, which is perfect. We want that since we're so close. There we go. Now it looks like we're actually starting to have some pretty good solid hits here. Heavy and moderate on number one there. That's exactly what we want to see. Come on, keep going. 
Unfortunately, we might lose the Boise, but it's a good little hammering ground for this. Let's go and see how our orders are looking for repairs. What are we focusing down on? We don't care about any of the guns right now, ladies and gentlemen. We need fire and flooding under control, please. Thank you. Come on, guys. Keep going. Keep going. How's this uh, damage looking for this already? Critical and heavy for the first Miyoko. Next, we'll be shifting over the Aoba immediately as soon as we can. Yes. Keep going. Look at all those constant splashes right next to it. Secondaries must be firing by now. Yes, they are. And a small explosion on the Salt Lake City. Support damage, please. Don't worry about that. Get that fire under control and get that flooding under control. If we're down one gun, that is fine by me. Report critical and heavy still. Let's go ahead and have the Honolulu cease fire. Go ahead and target the Aoba and fire. How's our Boise doing? Boise's doing all right. They've now started focusing down something completely different. Let's start peppering the hell out of this Aoba, though. Come on, Boise. How you doing on your repairs? Oh, my goodness. You're being... There's a lot going on here. 38 seconds, though, for a lot of these repairs to be done. Come on. Pepper him down. There we go. He's looking pretty bad right now. Critical and heavy. Critical and critical in the first Miyoko. There we go. This is exactly what we want to see. And there we go. The Aoba is officially sinking. Hell yes. Great bloody work, everybody. Great bloody work. All right. Salt Lake City. My God. Fire at will, for God's sakes. Whatever you have to hit. Everything. Fire at will. Honolulu. Aoba struck by torpedo. Yes, they're torpedoing. <laughs> Stupid idiots. Oh, they're torpedoing their own guys. I love it. Nothing gets better than that. So the Aoba is definitely, uh, definitely not doing well. I love it. All right. You go ahead and focus down the Miyoko, please. And it looks like we've just sunk a destroyer on their side as well. We have, my goodness. I can't believe this. How is everything else looking right now? Critical and critical for their Miyoko. It's still up. And our Honolulu is doing the best that it can to get it out of the way. How's our repairs looking? Then everything's fine, but if we go here, it says we are damaged? What the heck? What's going on here? we still got the rear guns, which are peppering the hell out of the Miyoko here, which is great. And our Boise is still doing alright. My goodness, the Salt Lake City and the Boise. Go ahead and see what you are repairing, and it better be all these fires. Stay alive, Boise. Stay alive. You are doing great. There we go, Miyoko sinking, perfect. Go ahead and start turning in, get ready for these torpedoes that might very well be heading our way. Sir, you need to increase your speed. You need to go a lot faster. Honolulu turning around. Honolulu reports, torpedoes in the water, torpedoes in the water. Thank goodness we turned when we did. Babuki sinking. Ladies and gentlemen, we are taking it to them. At will, please. Whatever you want to shoot, sir. Go ahead and straighten out. Oh my goodness, our poor ships are not looking good at all. Hang in there, gentlemen. Hang in there. Listing heavily. What is left on their side? We have one more, the Nagara. Come on, let's get this thing out of the way. 
St. Louis, I know you're firing. What are you... Gotta be critical and critical by now, though, right? Heavy and moderate. Come on now, let's go. Get this thing out of the way. No, and we lost our poor Boise. Gosh, it fought to the bitter end. It tried. There was no way we were able to escape, though, because this uh, Nagara is still up. Damn it. There we go. Nagara sinking. Let's go ahead and retreat while we can before we lose the Salt Lake City. Oh, Boise. Good try overall for everybody. Let's go ahead and get these guys back in a safe spot. Salt Lake City. We're going to go ahead and... Split from the group. Go down and get back to New Hebrides as soon as you can, sir. My goodness. Good bloody fight. At least that's one task force out of the way that we don't need to worry about. My goodness. And finally, our task force 10 has arrived over at Port Moresby. Let's go ahead and manage cargo and offload everything. There we go. That's exactly what you love to see. 2,400 troops and 3,600 supplies. Now that is beefed up pretty well. I feel a lot better about the fact that uh, if the IJN want to come and send a invasion force, we're going to be okay in Port Moresby. Overall, this uh, this has gone so pretty well so far. We have our Task Force 9 with our first aircraft carrier in the area that is uh, doing some pretty good damage. We're not going to be doing the skip bombing anymore, though, let me tell you, as that was a waste of time. But so far, so good. We've been ferrying supplies again from New Hebrides to Rennell Island. We are waiting for the last big resupply of New Hebrides for troop supplies, engineering, and everything. And that is when we're going to do our invasion force for Guadalcanal. So the next time we can get another... I want to get at least another 2,000 troops so I can send right around 6,000 troops and say 9,000 supplies at Guadalcanal. I think that's going to be a pretty damn good invasion force. So as soon as that comes, that's that's the plan going forward. But I think that's going to do it for this episode right now, ladies and gentlemen. I can't thank you all enough for the love and support that you guys are constantly showing. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, please comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought. Likewise, if you enjoyed the episode, please consider giving it a thumbs up as it helps the algorithm and helps get this uh, video out to many more so they can see it. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more on this episode and series and many other video games like it, please consider subscribing. Anyways, I'm going to get back at it, start making the next video, and until then, I will see you guys next time. Take it easy, okay?